it wasn't the average person's height back then, low five feet, you know, like oh, five, yeah. yeah, four or something. I don't know. Yeah, I have it in the book. I can't, you know, I can't remember the exact number, but I have the book and the references and the articles, you know, on it. But the average, like for for cultures that did embalm, like Egypt, where you have a lot more specimens, the average height of a male was like five and a half feet. Uh, for for the, the the Canaanite, you know, the Middle Eastern specimens, it's a little shorter, and and all these factors are due to to life expectancy, to you know, disease, you know, that they can't prevent certain conditions. Nutrition was a huge factor. Uh, Since all of these things for us have improved, we grow bigger and stronger than ancient people. It's just a, it's an issue of health, public, you know, health on on, on a broad scale, control and treatment of disease, you know, quality of food, variety of diet. All these things are factors. Um, So basically if you made it to six foot, you're a giant. Yeah. I mean, (laughs) if, if you were, if you were six and a half feet tall, in the biblical world, that was extraordinary. I mean, that, that was just, that was freakishly tall, which is why, again, an unseen realm, you know, that I, uh, when I write about this, that, you know, it, it, it's not taking away from the narrative to think that, Hey, if, if we go into Canaan and we run into, into places where there are clusterings of people that are six and a half feet tall or so, and we're sitting here and we're looking around like, Hey, who's the tallest one among us? Like you're five, three, you know, you're going to feel like you're going to get your butt kicked really fast if you go into this place and try to do a hand-to-hand combat with these people. Uh, it, you know, it is a mismatch. It's as much of a mismatch, you know, as, as it sounds. It's especially, you know, the, you know, if they're a warrior class and you're not. I mean, where have you been for the last forty years? Oh, walking around in the desert. You know, I mean, you're not training for combat. You're not defending anything. You're not fighting. You're not. You're not training to be a soldier. Well, these people are. You know, they live in walled cities. They're used to this stuff. And who are you? You're you're a squirt that doesn't. You know, is lucky that he can handle a sword. You know, you're just going to get destroyed. You know, on, on you know, left to your own your your own ability. It's a real threat. So you know, when when we point these things out, you know, the, the height differential. You don't need eight, nine, ten, thirteen feet tall because there's there's nothing archaeologically that supports that. Yeah, and I know that this creationist website over here has the the giant femur bone, you know, a femur bone of a giant, and the, the, the giant that had this femur must have been fifteen feet tall. Well, that's nice. Did they have it tested? Can you show me the lab results? Because if you don't do that, you're dishonest. If you don't do that, I suspect you have something to hide. I suspect that that'll be an animal remain, a prehistoric animal remain. Okay. I'm I'm just being blunt. You know, I, I, it really bothers me that that Christians who who you know have these objects and who tout them refuse to let anyone verify them. That tells me you have something to hide, and you shouldn't. People who name the name of Christ shouldn't be pulling that that kind of stuff. It's just dishonest. And was it Goliath like six six or something? In the in the Dead Sea Scrolls, yeah, he's around six 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 nine, depending on how you take the cubit, and also in the in the Septuagint, the Masoretic text is the one that has him at uh, you know over nine feet. But the Dead Sea Scrolls have him shorter. But again, for his day, he's enormous. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, he's enormous. Yeah, absolutely. But in today's yeah. time, six seven, you know, I wouldn't class six six. Wouldn't classify that right. as a giant. Right. He's a second round draft he's pick. Just, you know, in right. the NBA. Yeah. Exactly. He's just a good. <laughs> <laughs> he's got good nutrition, and he, he's he's made it a little longer, took his vitamins, and he can dunk the ball. So there you yeah. go. All right. 